Well, hey folks, I'm Mark. Well, welcome back to the channel where it's all about racing. Um, this weekend, I'm gonna take you through a tour of the paddock and, and I'm gonna do it in phases because we have a lot of different races here. As you can see, this is an old um, <clears throat> Chevy. I believe this is a, uh, is it a Monte? No, that would be the Pontiac. Um, hmm. Golly gee, I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, it's a Camaro. Okay, well actually this is one of the newer ones, all right. Um, but I'm gonna show you some really old ones too. Uh, you're gonna get a chance to see cars that you've probably never seen before. Uh, you know, if you're a NASCAR fan like me, you've never gotten this close to one, let alone talk to the drivers. And a lot of these drivers for this historic racing series are gentlemen drivers. They're mechanics, they're their own pit crew as well as owner. Uh, and it's really kind of unique. And as you can see, the owner over here, uh, you know, Johnny Vaughn, he's back there working on the tires. You can see he's got it up on the jack stands. I'll take you, show you a cool look at the cockpit here. It's very, very compact, much like you would expect in any race car. Except you notice you got a stick shift there. There are probably a lot of you kids that have never even worked a stick shift, but uh, these guys have to, and they've, they've, got, they've got a downshift and upshift all during the race. Uh, it's tricky. Uh, it's not like paddle shifters. And here you can see Johnny working on the tires, getting them cleaned out. They were just uh, on practice earlier, just as I got here. I think they started at 8 o'clock. Guys, here's the number nine car, Chase Elliott's old car. You might remember his father, Bill Elliott. I do. Anyhow, don't really know Chase, to be honest with you, but living in Richmond, I've seen a lot of these races, a lot of these cars, and this is a cool look at the number nine Napa car. Now, if you don't know number 48, well, I'm gonna tell you anyway, that would be Jimmy Johnson's old car, and here's a look at the fuel cell in the back of these cars. I have model cars, so I've seen these, but I've never been this close to one, to be honest with you. And as you can see, this one's up on the jack stands as well. They're doing work on it. Now, this is my favorite car, the Trump 47 car. This is really neat, one of Joe Nemechek's old cars, and <laughs> get a load of this. We people are pissed. <laughs> you gotta love it. Now, as I've mentioned, these were out here earlier this morning. This is one of the Toyota Camrys. And here's one of the Chevrolet Camaros. Well, kind of like a Camaro. And this is a Toyota Camry. As you can see, the, the name of the gentleman driver is on this one. Ryan Gemmel, I do not know whose car this was originally, but there's a cool look at the cockpit of the car again. You can see the steering wheel up on the, uh, on the dash panel. And guys, this is one of the trucks from the Craftsman Truck Series that you have under the tarp here. Uh, I think that might be on the track today. I did not see it earlier. And here's the Verizon number 46 car. And you see they got this thing tilted way up. And there's another Camaro number one car. Notice the red wheels, kind of neat. And here's one of Denny Hamlin's old car, the number 11. I've probably actually seen this one race. Remember, I live right near Richmond, so I'm about 20 minutes from Richmond International Raceway, so over the years I've seen a lot of NASCAR races, but I've never been this close to these cars ever. I'm going to show you some really old ones here in just a minute. We're going to go way back to Thunderbirds and Luminas. Now here's the Maynard's car. This was Paul Maynard's old car, but uh, Frank Kimmel, the gentleman driver, driving it now. And next to it is uh, one of the newer Ford Mustangs. Uh, as you can see, Jeff McKee is, and there's his helmet on top of the car there. You see, the, the fuel cell is virtually unchanged. But as we move around here, you're gonna see the cockpit's gonna be a little bit different. Still has the stick shift. I mean, you know, NASCAR is true to its roots, or at least it was. I don't know if the modern cars these days have paddle shifters. Now, guys, here's a real treat. This is the Levi Garrett Chevy Lumina, one of Ricky Rudd's old cars. They've got his motorcraft car up in front of this as well. Now, I have never seen one of these cars race. I mean, ever. And there's a look at an old-timey cockpit there of a Chevy Lumina. I'm sure modern seats and seat belts and everything else has been put in here, but otherwise they're true. And here's a cool look at the engine. 
Now next here, this is a uh, Ford Thunderbird, another one of Ricky Rudd's old cars. And there's a cool look in the cockpit of that. We're going to pan around here and show you the engine. Now I'd imagine this one has been updated a little bit. This looks substantially more modern than you would expect from a car of its era, but I understand the guy that, uh, that works on this and races it is a real, uh, I think he was a crew chief for one of the drivers. I don't recall who they said it was, but this is a look at a really cool old car. And as you can see, look at the front end. That is an old Ford Thunderbird. Well, guys, this wraps up the tour of the historic racing series. Uh, I'm waiting for the GT3 garage to open. We're going to have Mazda Miata Cup races this weekend. These old NASCAR cars will be racing as well. They're one of the support races. Then you have the GT3 cars, uh, which will be the, the main race. That's on Sunday. And then you have GT4 and TCRs also racing. And yes, we do have a few prototypes this weekend. They have the uh, LMP3s that we'll be racing. Otherwise, this is a prototype less weekend. This is really more of a GT car uh, race uh, that, than you see at Sebring or Watkins Glen. Endurance races where you have the prototypes there. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next paddock video.